fans, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft Train Tutorial. Today, we're going to be continuing on with our Amtrak Cascades train, and I'm going to be showing you how to build these coach cars. Now, they are very similar to the business class car we already did, but these have one more window, and the inside is slightly different. So let's get right into the build here. So the first step is to come up here on the second block up and put three smooth stone blocks across the middle. Then we're going to come underneath here and put a vertical lightning rod under each of these black stone walls up here. Then we'll put a warp door in the middle and we'll surround that with smooth quartz blocks. Then on the side of that smooth quartz, we're going to put an upside down, forward facing, dark prismarine stair. Same thing on this side. An upside down stair here. Then coming off that stair, we're going to put a line of dark prismarine blocks coming down. And that's going to be 21 blocks long in total. Once you have 21, we'll come up here and we do the same thing on the other side. Bring it right down 21 blocks until it lines up. Then we put a sideways lightning rod on each end. On bottom, in the middle here, we're going to put netherite on each rail for the wheels with an end rod axle and a skeleton skull on the outside of each wheel. Then three smooth stone blocks above it here. Then we're going to put a dark oak stair on the middle of the smooth stone and a dark oak fence on either side of the stair. Then a light gray carpet on the stair. Then a warp door in the middle here. Surround that with smooth quartz. Then two smooth quartz on either side right here. Then we're gonna put polished black stone brick walls, three across the top, two on each side. Come underneath and put a vertical lightning rod under the wall on each side here. Then we're gonna come underneath here and we're gonna take out a dark oak slab start right here and run a line of slabs all the way up the bottom to the other side. We'll do the same thing on this side. A line of dark oak slabs all the way up the bottom on this side. Bring it right down to the end here. Now on the next layer up starting on front here a full row of dark prismarine blocks coming all the way down to the other end right on the side of that quartz. Same thing here, so start there and a full row of dark prismarine blocks. Right to there. Then we're gonna knock out this first one in front of the quartz on each side and put a warp door in its place. Switch to brown concrete and come up and over the door and one more column of two in front. Same thing here, come up and over the door and another column of two. Then we're gonna skip two, a column, skip two, a column, skip two, a column, skip two, a column, and then two layers of brown concrete to the end of it. So there's five windows on the side of this car. Then we copy it over here. So start from this end, two layers of brown concrete, and just line it up. And here I realize I made that one window too big. So I'm gonna move this forward by one, delete that, move that forward by one. Same thing here, this goes forward by one, delete that, that goes forward by one and then copy the rest of the columns across this side of the car. Then we'll go through and fill in all these window gaps with cyan stained glass panes on both sides. Then we'll come on top and we'll go all the way around the top outside edge of the car with smooth quartz. Come inside on the end of the car without windows. We're gonna put a brown wool in the middle in front of this door then one to the right, and then we're going to come up the right-hand side by three. Fill the rest of this section with terracotta. Then a brown wool on the right, one in the middle, and then terracotta on the left. Then brown wool all the way up the center of the car till it reaches the other end here. Then on each side, a full row of terracotta until it fills in the whole floor. Then right here, we're gonna take out smooth quartz and two columns of smooth quartz here and here, all the way to the top. 
this is going to be where the bathroom is. Then we'll come down here, directly in front of these side doors, and we'll frame in a doorway with smooth quartz and bring that to the top. Then we'll take polished deep slate stairs for the chairs and put a row on each side with a gap of space between them coming forward. These just get regular stairs, they don't have the fancy seats like the coach car. We'll turn around and we'll put one in this gap here as well. On this wall here, we're gonna make a C shape of temporary blocks and we'll put a painting in that gap. Delete the temporary blocks. This is like a little TV screen. Now come up in here, put an end portal in there for a toilet, a warp door, and two smooth quartz above the door. Then we're gonna light the car, so put horizontal end rods there and there, coming up this hallway, and then another one on the left there, and we'll go up both sides of the car with our end rods. Put one on each side of this end porch area as well, and then the interior's done and we're gonna fill in the whole top of the car five wide with smooth quartz slabs going end to end. Then we're gonna put an oak button on each top corner of this end here. And this completes the build for the single coach car here. Feel free to copy in or build as many of these as you want on your train. I put seven on mine because I'm going off the consist diagram on their actual website, which shows seven coach cars. So I have seven here, but you can build as many as you would like. And leave a little bit more room on the track behind this because we still have one more thing to go before we complete this Amtrak Cascades train. I hope you enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.